Hi, in this video, we will have a look at pipe drive API adding a file. So here is the documentation for the pipe drive. Here is the action step called add file. What we need to execute here is a post operation slash version one slash files. For the HTTP action step, we need to set the body parameters in the format of multi-part slash form data. So for that, we have to pass the file. Of course, we need to pass the file content. That should be in a binary format. Then the deal ID we need, or the person ID, or the organization ID, or the product ID, or the activity ID, you know? So I'm going to use the deal ID here. Okay, so remember, if your file is coming from SharePoint, like you know when a file is created you can get the content using the sharepoint connector in power automate by default that is in a binary format okay so let's have a look at my flow then okay so this is the action step so i'm going to explain what it is so the post operation like the documentation said then the endpoint and that is this is the endpoint you need okay then you need to create an api token here so that means you need to go to the pipe drive you know and to create a document create an api api token then copy that doc, token here so i'm not going to show my token here that's the reason i put it here as xsxx okay and then the body so the body the multi-part uh, which you mentioned in the documentation is something like this we need to uh, keep this format so the content type that is multi-part form data then the multi-part because there are multiple parts there that's the reason it's multi-part first thing is the body with the deal id deal id is the documentation it said here you can see here one is the deal id another one is the file also okay so let's go back here okay so that's the deal id then in, inside the body uh, you know, I got another step. The previous step is getting the deal ID. So here the deal ID will go. If you got the person ID, then that should be mapped here also. So let's go back. So if you're using the person underscore ID, you need to use that. Here as the person underscore ID. Then the numeric ID there. Once that's done, then it's another set here, like again body, content, and the content type. Okay, I'll explain why it is slightly different here than the other one. So here the content is the file blob which is coming from the previous step such as coming from your onedrive or sharepoint or any other data source that's the binary format that's the one you need to map here then the content type which is also very important here if it's a pdf file you need to put application slash pdf if it's any other image or something you need to put the appropriate content type okay then the headers the headers again you need to set the file and the file name so that's a confusing part here it doesn't specifically mention you know in the http post how we need to place that under the multi-part form data hence i thought i will produce a video for this okay so for that because we are placing the file content here then we need to put the headers as the content disposition form data same as here but the name is the file but we got a file name also so the file name of the file which is you know not anywhere here it's not been mentioned that here um, under the documentation here all it said is file so remember this is the key part here for the form data name equals file then the file name is equal to this also you know you need to put this slashes here uh, this slashes with all this it won't work because this need to be in double quotes so we need to put this escape character as slash here I will put this in my video description and uh, you know hope this is useful thank you for watching